close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't wanna waste what's left. And so today I'm going to show you how I style my new short hair. Um, I literally just got out of the shower, threw some clothes on, I have no makeup on, so don't mind me. Um, but I thought I would show you guys kind of like what I do now that my hair is like super short. I think this is probably the shortest I've ever had my hair because it's literally like right above my shoulder. Uh, it's like right out my shoulders. Um, I have my hair pretty short. Off baby monitor. <laughs> I've had my hair pretty short um, when I was pregnant with Landon um, at my baby shower. That's the last time I've had it like this short. Um, this is definitely super short. Um, I need to brush it, but I thought I would show you guys kind of like what I do. Um, I already had a few DMs asking, and then um, yeah, so I thought I would show you guys. And if you guys are curious, this shirt. It's super cute. It's actually from Amazon. I'll link it down below. It's super comfortable. Um, you know, the cheetah print leopard, whatever, is like coming back. So, um, yeah, let's do our hair. <laughs> so now with my hair, my shampoo and conditioner, I use um, the Kevin Murphy um, shampoo, conditioner, and then the purple shampoo. Um, I use that. Um, I don't wash my hair every day. I probably wash it maybe three times a week. On a good week usually it's only twice um but yeah i use that and i do the purple shampoo probably once a week um and then i also use this kevin murphy leave-in repair um nourishing leave-in treatment i don't know it looks like this um i actually really like the kevin murphy um brand um that's kind of a lot i'm not used to having my shorter hair but i just basically take it and just run it at the ends of my hair um not at the root just because i don't want my hair to be greasy but basically just putting it into the ends of my hair. I have not brushed my hair yet, um, so I put this in first and then uh, I'll brush my hair and it kind of just helps distribute the rest of the product. I use this just a sweat brush. Um, this is like from Walmart. I've had it for so long. Um, you can literally use whatever brush you want. I really like the wet brush. My hair is so short. I'm just going to go ahead and brush my hair. Now I'm looking over here because it has my vanity mirror. So, go ahead and brush it. So yeah, that's all I do for that. My hair is like super easy now. Um, I'll link this down below too. Um, I'm going to use my Revlon um, hair brush dryer i don't know it looks like this um they have the um brown brush one and then they have like, the paddle brush um i like both um i've used both i like this one just for like a quicker just to kind of like brush my hair and do it um i'm not a huge fan of like the round brush style um that's why i kind of prefer this one more um so i'm just gonna go ahead and plug this in And basically, I will just go ahead and use the high setting first. And I kind of just like will go through my whole hair, my whole head. <laughs> my hair is kind of thick. Um, so I kind of just want to like dry it up a little bit. Usually I will let my hair air dry a little bit more. Um, but since I'm showing you guys, my hair is still pretty damp. Um, but usually I will go ahead and do my makeup first and then come back to my hair. But for the sake of the video, I'm not going to wear, I'm actually not going to put makeup on today because... I'm just going to be home, so I'm just going to go ahead and blow dry my hair quick. So now that I've blow dried my hair, uh, my hair is still kind of damp um like i said um my hair does uh, like i said my hair is pretty thick but my hair for the most part is dry um, underneath it's still a little wet but usually um if i was to just like 
need like a quick blow dry to kind of get my hair done, um, I would keep it like this. Uh, my hair is so thick since I've cut it. Um, yeah, uh, this blow dryer is really nice because you can pretty much like walk out the house just like this um, with your hair dried and it's like it's blown out already. Um, so this, I could keep it like this. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and um, dry it just a little bit more. Most people know me. Um, I'm definitely one to always keep my hair up in a bun or like a ponytail or something but or like a half up half down um this would be really cute too which i normally would style my hair like this i probably would do my hair like this especially if i'm just home uh, i would probably just put half up half down um but for the sake of the video i'm going to show you guys how i also curl my hair so um i'm just gonna going to part my hair quickly and then kind of dry my hair just a little bit more um, like I said, normally I would just step out the house like this. Uh, my hair is pretty much dry, um, but my hair is thick, so underneath is still kind of damp. So I'm going to part my hair, dry it just a little bit more, and I'll show you guys how I curl my hair. Now my hair is completely dry. Um, you can just see just an extra like two minutes and I can really like get my hair completely dry. So I will curl my hair two ways. I'll either, well I'll curl my hair three ways. I'll use a wand, which I have like a purple Conair wand. I don't really use it too often, especially with my hair shorter. It, the curl is almost too tight, so I kinda don't really use that one anymore. Um, I will curl my hair with a straightener which for me, I like that more if I just want like, kind of like a few waves in my hair. Um, or I will use the Hot Tools. I think it's like the 24K Hot Tools curling iron. I think this is like a one and a quarter or one inch. I don't know, I'll link it down below. I really like this one. Um, I got it last year, um, and I really enjoy it. Um, one thing too to keep in mind is my hair will curl a lot better um, when it's old hair. Um, so like tomorrow, my hair will curl better, or like the next day. Um, but like I said, for the sake of the video, I'm gonna show you guys how I curl my hair. Um, I'm just gonna throw a few loose waves in it. Um, for me, when I curl my hair, I like most of my curls to be right at the front. Um, I feel like when your curls are beautiful in the front of your face, who really cares what the back looks like? <laughs> um, not really, but yeah. So I'm going to let my curling iron heat up. Um, one thing to keep in mind too with like this brush is you cannot blow dry your hair with damp, 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 damp hair. Um, like your hair cannot be like soaking wet. You need to let it dry a little bit before you do this, but it does work really well. I really enjoy it. My mom has the round brush one. My mother-in-law also has a round brush one, um, but I personally like that one. Um, but yeah, this hair I feel like makes me look so much older. Um, so a little trick that I have before, because you know my hair is freshly, freshly washed. Um, I throw in a little bit of dry shampoo. This is the Dove um, dry shampoo. This is in the color coconut. Um, I'm just gonna lift up my hair and kind of spray. This kind of just helps my hair have something to grip onto. Um, even though my hair doesn't need the dry shampoo, um, it kind of just helps dirty up my hair a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of like rub that in. Um, I do not use a heat protector in my hair. I probably should. Um, I just don't have any right now. So. It smells so good too. Um, so the next thing I do too is I just throw a little bit of hairspray in my hair. Um, 
Um, remember, I'm also not a hairdresser, and this is just what I do to my own hair. Um, I actually really suck at hair. Um, but I've always put hair straight in my hair first because I feel like it helps, like I said, grip. <sighs> the curl has something to like, grip onto. I don't know. I don't know where my clip is, so I'm just going to use a hair elastic again. Um, so I'm just going to part my hair in the middle. And then basically... So, um, since my hair is pretty short, I'm just going to take like, I don't know, like two inch, two inch, I don't know, hair things and basically just curl my hair. I don't know. That's all I do and I'm not doing it for long. Again, I'll show you guys one more time. So I just take the hair, like two inch, um, I clamp it and then I like turn it once. And then kind of a second time. And then I kind of like open it up so that way the clamp isn't like creasing my hair. Um, and I just do like a few seconds and then I just drop it. Um, and that's it. Um, it's going to look kind of like crazy at first because you're going to have like really tight curls or kind of like intense curls. But um, you will brush them out. So. And one thing too is on my right side, I have my curls going away from my face and my left side, I have my curls going away from my face. So that's like one thing too, like with how I hold my wand, um, my curling iron. Um, I know some people go back and forth, depending on how I want my curl, um, especially if it's like um, with a straightener, I usually do like different uh, directions. Um, but with the curling iron, I usually always do it one direction because I feel like it just looks best that way. One thing too, I try to make sure the top of my head, um, where the root is before the curl, I like to make sure it's like flat. So I'm gonna go ahead and curl my hair and then I'll show you guys what my next level. took me like not even a minute um, so now I'm just gonna take down the rest of my hair um, and then I usually will part my hair how I want it to part in I have my hair parted in the middle um, and then basically I'm just gonna continue just curling my hair <laughs> since I have so much hair though I'm going to just put my hair in the kind of like pigtails and just kind of section off this side because I don't want it to like get in the way of this side so <laughs> super cute um my hair is just super thick and especially with it being shorter um I notice it kind of like it's just so much thicker um so I'm going to do the same thing on the top um I have more of like a strategic when it's like to the front of my hair but the back and the sides it's just curling it um, and then, like I said, depending on how I curl my hair, like, with the curling iron, I have more curls, and then when I do, like, the straightener, I have more of, like, that beachy wave, um, but this is just what I've been enjoying with my shorter hair, um, so far. And then I try to like, if I'm missing any piece, if I see any straight pieces, I'll go ahead and just straighten those too. Um, so you can kind of see it underneath. So I'm just basically curling my hair. Um, yeah. Okay, 
So now I have like this like front, oops. So now I have like this like front piece. Um, so I'm just gonna head and straighten, well, comb through, not straighten, that piece right there. Um, and then I'm going to start really close to the root and then just pull and twist, pull and twist. And then I hold my curl for a little bit longer in the front just because I want the front and the frame of my face to have like the most curl and like the nicest curl almost. So I'm gonna hold that there for a few seconds and then just drop it. Super cute. I'm such a stylist. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pick up that curl. And then, of course, I'm not gonna have any pins right now. I'm just gonna take a little clip and I'm basically just gonna clip that up there. Okay, um, so I just finished curling the rest of my hair on this side. Um, so now I'm just going to, these two pieces are still curled um, and they're up there. I'm just gonna go ahead and spray my hair, a little bit more hairspray. I'm gonna actually flip my head. And basically with like a wide tooth, wide tooth comb, I'm just gonna go ahead and start kind of like literally brushing out my curls. Um, and basically just like separate my curls. Um, my hair is pretty thick, like I said. Um, so now that I brushed it, I'm gonna go ahead and see like the pieces that I think still need to be curled and I'm just kind of do like a light curl. these front pieces and I'll let them down and I'm just going to use my fingers to kind of comb them out. Um, so this one is having a little bit more of a curly moment so I'm just going to go ahead and take my brush or my comb I should say and kind of brush that out and then spray it and then I'll do the same thing on this side take my comb so that's all I do um you can tease your hair if you like um I'm not huge into teasing my hair my mom is my mom's like a tease queen but yeah that's how I curl my new hair so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial video thing i hope it wasn't too long um yeah i love it i hope you guys enjoy this little video if you guys did give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next one bye